Now I'm going to walk through how to set up a collection view in Storyboard. There are two ways to set up table view controllers and collection view controllers in Storyboard. The first way you've seen before, you start with a regular UI view controller like this one, and then you drag in a table view or a collection view. The second option is to use a table view controller like this one, or a collection view controller like this one. In the table views lesson, we used option one. Now we'll set up our collection view controller using option two. Here I've opened the Bond Villains in Tabs project, but this version doesn't have a collection view controller set up yet. To access this project, switch to the Git branch in the instructor's notes. Now open up the Bond Villains in Tabs project so that you can follow along with me as I go through the steps to add a collection view controller to your project. The first step is to drag in a navigation controller. Next, you'll want to delete the root view controller that automatically came with that navigation controller. Next, you'll want to drag in a collection view controller, and this item is of the class UI Collection View Controller. Next up, control click on that navigation controller and set its root view controller to be the collection view controller you just added. Remember that we want our collection view to show up in our tab bar. To accomplish that, first control click on the tab bar controller, and we want to add this second navigation controller to our view controllers array. So we can drag here from the view controllers array and add that second navigation controller. Next, we need to set the name of the collection view controller to match the name of the class where all our collection view methods are implemented. To do that, we click on the collection view controller and then open up the identity inspector on the right. Here under class, we're going to put villain collection view controller. Of course, when you're setting this up for meme me, you're going to put sent memes collection view controller. Next, we're going to configure our collection view cell. In order to do that, let's open up the outline view on the left. Here in the outline under villain collection view controller, we can see the collection view cell. Go ahead and click on it. We need to set the name of the cells class to match the custom cell class that we implemented earlier. So up here under class in the identity inspector, we're going to put villain collection view cell. And when you're setting up meme me, you'll type in whatever name you used for your custom cell class. Now I'm just going to make this collection view cell a little bit bigger, and then I'm going to drag in an image view. Right now, I'm just dragging in an image view for testing purposes. I just want to be able to see the cells so that I know I set them up correctly. Now I need to connect an outlet to this UI image view. So you can see here that I've opened up the assistant editor, and we've got our villain collection view cell.swift file here on the right. Now to connect the outlet, all I do is drag from this circle to the UI image view in Storyboard. Last but not least, we need to make sure we set the reuse identifier for our collection view cell. So you'll want to make sure you click on the collection view cell, and then you'll go over here to the attributes inspector, and under identifier, put villain collection view cell. All right, let's run it and see what we've got. All right, there's our collection view, and it seems to be loading data fine. And in the next session, I'm going to talk about how to use the class UI Collection View Flow Layout so that you can arrange these cells the way you want them.